Hey guys, it's Randy. Look, uh, sometimes I know you look around, you see the news, it looks like the world's gone crazy. You think it has? Uh, I don't think so. I think, um, I think you'll agree after you see this, uh, this short video. First off, uh, you have plenty of reason to think the world's gone crazy. Have you noticed that you, there's a lot of people and the people in the news that have a lot of airtime who actually believe that they're wiser than the previous 1,000 generations? Somehow they actually believe that this generation can throw away a thousand generations of wisdom uh, because they are that enlightened and they actually do believe that to be true. Have you noticed that they're working? They seems like they're working to destroy proven institutions and they have no plan to replace them. They just have an idea or have heard an idea that they think sounds better. So they're trying to destroy proven institutions. Uh, they seem to have no knowledge of the lessons of the 20th century. And, you know, the 20th century was an interesting time because, you know, the, the, there were tens of millions of graves as a result of some of the errors of the 20th century. And it seems like people are getting through an educational system with no knowledge of those lessons. Uh, the same people really seem to believe that they that feelings their feelings actually trump the reality of of things that are real in the world and the way they feel is actually overrules what the reality is. Don't mean to beat up on these folks. They're actually well educated. They're well intentioned, I think. But have you noticed a person like this would get a lot of attention? Would garner a lot of attention? It takes very few of them to get a lot of attention. And frankly, it's they're irresistible to news cam cameras. These are people who consider any disagreement with them to be violence against them, uh, and they believe that politics uh, and and uh, you know government and government programs can actually replace what science and reality tells us is is what works as compared to the politics that don't. These folks believe that they're incapable. Uh, excuse me, these people are or appear to be incapable of critical thinking, log logically thinking through uh, a process to come to a conclusion. And that too seems like some type of uh, failed educational system. By the way, I'm giving folks, all these folks, the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I'm just assuming a few things here that are based on a book from a fellow named Evan Sayed. He has a book called The Kindergarten of Evil. He, he cuts them a lot of slack and I'm cutting the same amount of slack. Uh, we'll get to that in the end of the video, though. These folks seem to define reality. What's real, if something is reality, their definition of what they see in reality is hate and bigotry. That's how, how um, opposed to reality, if you can imagine, they are. And it, it actually just seems like they thrive on lies and that they are wrong about most everything. Is that possible that an educated, intelligent, well-intentioned person, person could be wrong about everything? Is that really possible? Well, believe it or not, it is possible. And in his book, The Kindergarten of Evil, uh, Evan say it. There's videos on YouTube with him as well. Uh, he gets to a lot of the reason that it's so. And I'd like to share some of those with you now. The first uh, thing to think about is uh, our, our country, the West, Western, uh, and particularly the United States, has has put a lot of effort and time into um, uh, a civil war and a, uh, a civil rights movement and tried to right the wrongs of our historical past. And what this has led to is a cultural phenomena that requires um, that press at least pretend to be neutral and strive to be neutral, which seems like a good idea on the surface, and that all people should be able to demonstrate that they are free of any discrimination of any type. This is a cultural expectation that we have of each other, and there's fruit, very few insults that uh, culturally in our, our society that uh, you know, worse than being told that you're guilty of discrimination, which is an act. It's not a thought. It's an act. Uh, and we strive and work very hard, both in our press and our culture and our politics, to be free of discrimination. The problem, like anything that goes over the top and goes too far, uh, by the way, discrimination, being, having discriminating taste was considered a compliment and not to the distant past. But what happens is when you when you commit yourselves to being free of discrimination, uh, and completely neutral, you put yourself in a position where you, it forces you to be wrong about art, for example. Things that are, uh, that if you made a discriminatory or discrimination on art and, and thought about things of beauty, art uh, of the past, art that was beautiful, compared with modern art, which might be about bodily functions, you're required to build up these people believe themselves required and journalists believe that they have to must build up the ugly and the profane and to, and to pretend, not to pretend, they actually believe that they have to build this up in their comment commentary and what they focus on and to tear down anything that seems superior so that they're not perceived as making a, uh, a discriminatory judgment. 
similarly a founding fathers who founded a nation that has brought more people to the highest standard of living and the greatest one of the greatest nations ever devised has to be torn down and the founding fathers uh, destroyed in the press and in the popular culture and they build up these very uh, organizations and systems of government that led to these tens of millions of graves in the 20th century have to be built up and adored and just fawned over in the press and in this uh, this progressive if you will organization and culture brilliant states statesmen and stateswomen have to be torn down if they are on if they seem to be uh, striving for this excellence in the world anything that's around excellence they're torn down and, and tried to be torn down to some neutral free uh, a neutral non-excellent state while the profane and the, the people who advocate for destructive behaviors are built up and and all but worshipped uh, in this intent to demonstrate that that i am free of discrimination similarly uh, you know documents that uh, you know define this very united states uh, uh, constitutional liberties have to be attacked and destroyed while while uh, you know organizations and systems are, are adored and, and just praised uh, if for no other reason because they stand in opposition to these very excellent systems um, uh, it, it goes throughout our culture that p the freedom of speech and the rights that we have must be attacked and destroyed in the name of um, uh, some other you know attack for the pol institutions the police the first responders and this these organizations that shut down do all they can to shut down free speech one of the core liberties of our society countries that have, ex have survived and thrived and brought enormous good into the world are attacked and attempted to, uh, to be torn down even to the extent that they're attacked by uh, countries daily they're actually attacked daily and and the culture in this progressive culture and this political climate attacks the good in an attempt to tear it down to something closer and free of discrimination and closer to these these horrible people who are t literally terrorists attempting to destroy them and finally, the most insidious, I think, would be uh, the safest place in the world uh, where an unborn child can can reside and be and grow and, and prepare to come into the world as a, a human being in the image of God has to be attacked and destroyed and declared the enemy of a, a woman uh, because of her rights, because she uh, it's, it's her right to actually take away this life of the unborn for the inconvenience it might cause her. So, yes, it is possible that if people uh, and newscasters commit to the fact that they're going to be neutral and anything holy or excellent or good or kind or gentle or loving has to be destroyed and torn down so that it's neutral and the equivalent of anything unholy and profane and horrible and uh, just evil uh, that is how a person can commit their lives to a concept that uh, requires them to basically be wrong all of the time so Again, a tip of the hat to Evan Sayet for his book, The Kindergarten of Evil. And I've, had, I've put some link, uh, some search strings here for some helpful videos, and I'll put the links to these in the uh, comments as well. Take a time to understand this, because what, what I've described to you really is, is a dark, evil force in our culture, and it has led to overthrows and collapses of societies and cultures. It's really time to stand up and stop this, and just by informing yourself is a really good start. Hey, the only strength these folks have uh, is that they look much larger than they are, uh, and that's creating a situation where we may be afraid to be ridiculed by them. Uh, but that fear that we have and that, that keeps us from stepping up and, and, and shining a light in their lives, into their lives, is the only power they have. So it's really, it's a really important time to stand up, get yourself somewhat educated. And there's about 30 minutes worth of videos here that'll help with that. And it's time to start calling them what they are and pointing out the reality of good. Uh, good luck with this. And I uh, uh, encourage you to make comments. Whether you agree or disagree, uh, you'll be treated respectfully. Thank you.